Hey guys, it's Krista with GG Wax and I'm here to talk to you about your hard wax. So this is actually intended to go right into your wax warmer and it is a beautiful formula that is amazing for sensitive areas but it picks up even the most coarse hair. So let's get going. All right, so what we're gonna do is to prepare the wax, we're just gonna put this all the way onto the high heat setting. You wanna leave it there for about 30 minutes. If you wanna test it periodically, just grab one of your sticks and swirl it around. It's gonna take a little bit for the wax to heat up. So just be patient with it and you're just gonna mix it together. So this is actually ready to go because I preheated mine, but this is about what it should look like. So we're gonna gauge the temperature mainly by the consistency with the hard wax, mainly because it does need to be a thicker consistency than the honey wax. So this being a hard wax means that it's stripless. So this does not come with strips because the wax itself will harden once applied to the skin. And we will actually pull the wax up and that's how we will be removing the hair. So we're gonna take our pre-hun, and it's just really important to cleanse the area. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna remove all of the dirt, oil, debris, deodorant in this case, because underarms, most people wear deodorant. We're just gonna remove that. And any cotton round will work. We're just using cotton rounds. So we're looking to get a medium-sized ball on the end of that stick. It does depend on how large the area is that you're doing, but I'm gonna split my underarm into two sections, so I don't need a ton of wax. But you kinda wanna gauge it based on the area that you're doing. So here we go, and I'm twirling my stick, and you might wanna get good at twirling, so you can practice a little bit if you want, but because we don't want that wax to fall off. So this is how we're keeping it on. So we're just twirling. And then I'm gonna go with the direction of the hair growth. So I'm just gonna apply it up and kind of create a lip. So up and create a lip. So we're gonna let that dry just for a little bit. Just give it 10 seconds or so. And then we'll, we can touch it just to make sure that it's hardening okay. It's looking good. And then we're kind of gonna flick the top down a little bit. It's important to, um, if you do the wax too thick, you might have to let it dry a little bit more. So it helps, you can count to 10, or you can count to three. So we can do one, two, three. Okay, so now we're gonna do the lower half of the underarm. And again, I'm gonna get, a medium sized ball and we're gonna again go in the direction with the direction of your hair growth and it might help I went and got a mirror it might help to get a mirror because sometimes it can be um, really straining on your neck to look down so a mirror really really helps so I recommend grabbing a mirror so you can kind of look into the mirror and see what you're doing and I'm just gonna let that sit for a second. And you can kind of tap it, but it should only take like 10 seconds or so for it to harden. Um, the thicker the wax though, so say you put on a thicker application, it's gonna take a little bit longer to dry. So it's feeling good and I'm just tapping it like that. I'm pulling the skin with my left hand, if you can. And then I'm kind of gonna flick that tab up a little bit, just to make sure I have a good grip on it and then I'm just gonna pull up. So you can count to three if that helps. Some people it does. So you can go one, two, three. And you can do it in two pulls or you can do it in one. It just depends on the size of the strip that you created, but two's absolutely fine. If there's any hairs left over, just grab a pair of tweezers and again in your mirror, you can kind of just tweeze that one hair, but it's gonna take a couple times, and again, just pay attention to the direction of the hair growth, and you're gonna go with that. One thing I'm gonna mention is pay attention to how your skin's doing. It's going to be a little bit red, a little bit irritated, and that's normal, but 
You don't ever wanna go over an area more than two times, I'd say, because your skin is going to be exfoliated when you're waxing and you don't wanna over exfoliate that area. So just limit it to two times and just know it's gonna be a little red, a little tender, but it should never feel raw or extremely irritated. So just be mindful of that and pay attention to you know how your skin's feeling. See, how easy was that? This wax is amazing for removing even the most coarse hair on the most sensitive areas. Thanks for watching, happy waxing you guys.